kind of chilly. It's negative eight. Thanks for joining for episode eight. Eight and eight. That, that, that doesn't even rhyme. Okay, let's try it one more time. Practice patience. Yeah, it's worth the wait. Thanks for joining for episode eight. Yeah, let's use that one. All right, let's go. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Sorry for taking you from outside to inside, but we're gonna go back outside shortly. After going out this morning and buying some rice, just wanted to go over the life hack on how to open a rice bag. We're going to approach the bag from the front, locating the left side of the bag, getting some scissors and cutting the string on the left side of the bag. Next, we look at the back of the bag and we pull some strings out. And by doing this, we unravel the seal of the bag thus opening the bag very easily for access to the rice. Good job. Now let's head back to the scene where I was outdoors earlier this morning. Woke up hella early today, even though I have a night shift later on tonight. The fiance is in bed complaining of pain and I decided to go on a little morning walk to go and get her some pain meds. So here's a quick clip of me getting her pain meds before I go to work later tonight. Just finished the first of my three night shifts and I want to let you guys know that I got bonus points from the fiance for getting her some pain meds yesterday. I also want to get your guys input on something. Basically, I'm shooting this week's episode using the microphone in my GoPro Hero. And I wanted to ask you guys if you'd prefer the audio from the GoPro. Sample A would be the audio that I'm speaking with you guys right now, while sample B would be the audio that I'm using for my previous videos. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that little story of mine. So please let me know in the comments below which audio you would rather me use for future episodes. And on that note, we have a couple of birthdays. I wanted to do a birthday greeting to Kay. Happy birthday. Because of the pandemic, I do miss our time swimming together in the indoor pool. Plus, I remember the time we got caught in the elevator after I showed you the engagement ring that I got from my fiance. Also, in case you guys didn't know, Kay is a twin which can only mean I have one more birthday shout out for Karen, happy birthday. One of my fellow Ryerson classmates that graduated with me in 2009. And also remember the time that you and Hanan came over to my res to bake a birthday cake for Millie. Can't believe that was first year. Anyways, happy birthday once again to Kay and Karen. Going on to the last of my three night shifts tonight, I'm just gonna do one more thing before I go to work. Gonna wish a happy birthday to Susan. This young lady of three, Michael, Matthew, and Katie, has always supported us as Mama Bear at our dance competitions when we were younger. I hope everything is going well with you, Susan. Say hi to Kenny for me, and happy birthday once again. So today, being February 12th, 2021, just wanna wish all my friends out there a happy Chinese New Year. I've also been practicing this for the past hour, so forgive me if I haven't been saying it right. So for my Mandarin friends out there, I want to wish you a happy new year by saying Xinyuan Guai Le. And for my Cantonese speaking friends out there, I want to wish you prosperity and good fortune. Gong Hei Fa Choi. With that being said, it's time for the lesson of the week. But for this week, instead of cutting to a quick music video, I'm going to try to teach you one of the phrases that I just greeted you guys with. So this is going to be the greeting for happy new year in Mandarin. Xinyuan Guai Le. As a foreign speaker to Mandarin, as with other languages, I try to break down the phrase into several parts. Mainly into parts that remind me of English words. So this phrase is composed of four parts. The first part, shin, just like the body part. The second part reminds me of the Japanese currency, yen. Putting those two parts together, shin yen. I remember the third and fourth part by recalling a basketball player that used to play for the Toronto Raptors, Kawhi Leonard. The third part is just Kawai's name said fast, Kwai. And the fourth part is just a sliver of his last name. Instead of Leonard, I say Le. So parts three and four put together is Kwai Le. Now you put the whole phrase together, part one, two, three, and four. 
Xin, Yen, Kwai, Le. Put them all together, Xin, Yen, Kwai, Le. And now you know how to greet somebody Happy New Year in Mandarin. Also to celebrate Chinese New Year this year, I went out and did a food delivery adventure. After having amazing Chinese food earlier tonight, I had to wish a special guy a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tito Eddie! Because of the pandemic, we celebrated this guy's birthday through video call, and this is how it went. Happy birthday, Dad! Happy birthday, Dad! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Tito Eddie! Happy birthday to you! Okay, blow your candles, Dad! Yeah! Woo! Happy birthday, Dad! Oh, blow, blow, Dad! There's one left! One more, blow! One more! Blow, you can blow harder! <laughs> Happy birthday once again, Tito Eddie. Hope you had a good one. We got a nice cold chilly Saturday afternoon right now and I'm looking outside and I'm really encouraged to know that the sunset is now at 5.45 p.m. Which is amazing because it only means that the days are getting longer. Which is kind of like a sign for hope. Longer days, more sunlight, the pandemic is ending soon. So let's keep our heads up guys and know that we're all in this together. Just also have a birthday shout out today for Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. Knowing you from the Ryerson Catholic Students Association back when we were in Ryerson. I'm remembering those Ryerson Catholic barbecues and those mass and dinners that they used to have back in the day. I'm hoping you're doing well, you're staying safe and you have a good birthday, Michael. So here we are, February 14th, a very special day of the year that people mark on their calendar especially those that are celebrating birthdays. Happy birthday to Carol. This person is a great beach volleyball teammate of mine who I've seen improve their skills over the past year. And I want to thank you for babysitting my beach volleyball net for a period of time over the summer. I hope you play again and I'll see you on the beach later this year and I hope you have a good one. Also wanted to wish a happy birthday to Carda. This brother was so welcoming, helping me break out of my shyness shell inviting me to play beach volleyball with him and his crew back at that Filipino group camping trip years back. Anyways, happy birthday again, Carta. Hope you're doing well, and I hope that we can hang out again when this pandemic is over. But yeah, Valentine's Day, a day that couples set aside to show appreciation for each other. While some couples show their affection by giving gifts, flowers, or chocolate, me on the other hand, I'm a little bit different. I woke up a little bit earlier than the fiancé this morning so I could show you guys how I show her affection on Valentine's Day.
Some people say there's nothing more sexier than their significant other doing chores and cooking for them. I tend to agree with those people. Doing all those household chores and cooking her lunch before she woke up was all that she wanted. And she was greatly appreciative of that this Valentine's Day. Surprise! <laughs> oh, evidently we got this from a secret admirer. Ooh. Thank you, secret admirer. And by the way, it is family day weekend, so I've got a video call with my cousins later on tonight. Hi! Hi! Hi, Tita! Happy Valentine's Day! Okay, so, 22, wow! Wow! We got a oh, yeah. guys. Eliza and Warby. Baby essentials. Okay, for 100. <laughs> It was so great to see my cousins last night via Zoom, but I can't wait till this pandemic is over and actually see them in person. Either way, just want to wish you and your family happy family day from my family to yours. And keeping in the spirit of special days, we have some happy birthdays today. Just want to do a birthday shout out to Teresa. Happy birthday. I remember you from FSAT tutoring as well as FSAT events, including the FSA formal on the cruise. Anyways, happy birthday, Teresa. I hope you have a good one. We also have a birthday greeting to Rupa! This former co-worker of mine told me that if the cardiac machines start beeping and they get annoying, to wave my fist at them, give them an angry face, and do this until they behave. Next time I'm in San Francisco, we'll definitely catch up. But for now, happy birthday Rupa! And last but not least, we got a happy birthday to Valerie! One of my SMIOA Next Generation friends that I met in Chicago, I see that so much has changed since the time before you were writing your board exams. Getting a job, growing a family, and next time I'm in Chicago, we'll try to reconnect. So happy birthday, Valerie, and I hope you have a great one. So just wrapping up this week's episode, I want to thank all the Jaywalkers out there for tuning in. Be sure to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications button for future videos from Jaywalker POV. Thanks again guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.